to restore the English language in order to preserve what little of humanity that they can. Wow. So this is ba so that so that's it's basically like Fallout, Sesame Street. I would like to point out the game is now making me find like thirty letters. <laughs> oh, but they're they're changing it up because they show you a lowercase, but you have to get a uppercase. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. There wasn't enough room in the cartridge for the up for uh, it, lowercase yeah, gotta, pickups. They didn't want to they didn't want to stretch that budget. So, something's telling me we're probably going to the cookie very fast here. Something something's giving me a feeling here. Uh, uh, this next paragraph is actually e equally good, John. All right. <laughs> the only place that the 26 character alphabet still lives is on a remote and secluded letter farm. It is here that Big Bird sends Elmo out on an increasingly difficult mission, sometimes Hi. completely unarmed, and other times armed with only with a pogo stick. Elmo must go out into the deep of the farm where only the strongest of heart dare trod. In one particularly arduous task, Hi. Elmo must find the letter H. Only by navigating the fiendishly designed path may Elmo find the elusive letter H. Elmo's lack of letter identifying visor, an invention that mankind Hi. once had before its destruction, only makes proceedings all the more trying. Lesser men would have died of exhaustion by the time they were asked to find the letter P. But Elmo is a tireless desert, a soldier whose iron will and gargantuan tenacity propels him through even the most death-defying tasks. Yeah, yeah. You can tell someone was really bored. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm All looking right. to the review in the chat just because, just to prove that I'm not making this up as much as I'd love to. Wait, I, oh no, I've got a health meter. What? I picked you the do? wrong letter on purpose and I have a health meter. <laughs> I have to oh. use up all my health. B. So I thought this, this oh, wow, that's, 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 that's pretty violent there. That little dot explodes in a pile of blood. What's this game like rated? Playing, press the one of these buttons, the ones that are flashing now. I thought this game looked familiar. I've seen a corruption of this game before. Oh, oh God! Hey oh, there. welcome right to back the beginning. It's still the letter I. See if you can find the letter I. Elmo's little lifeless stare here. Camera keeps auto adjusting. Oh, there we go. Game was like, you fucked up. If you want to keep playing, and you only have two lives. Buttons. You only have two hit the points. Ones that are oh, that's because of my heart. Yeah. yeah, you get more on the others. I'll tell you this. You know this what? This game you know isn't what? corrupt on its if own. You, want to go back you know what? <laughs> this game is actually ahead of Dark Souls 2, I believe, on Twitch right now. now. Really? Oh yeah. Pausing the game to unpause it, you can't press start. You'll actually quit. Wow. So yeah. So basically, I can see why this game's like Dark Souls. I mean, you know. I mean, it pretty whole... much is Dark Souls, just back pretty, on the 64. Pretty much. I mean, like, especially if you look at that review, it's like, we're, you know, we're dealing with a post-apocalyptic world where everything's cryptic and there's no established, like, clear language or anything. And um, if you die, you just go back to the start. So, yeah, it's pretty much identical. Yeah. All right. I think we're going to we're gonna cook it up. Think so. What? And not fill the rest of the stream with this magic. Oh, I know. I'm sure people are really torn up about it. I think people yeah. want Faces of Evil again after this. <laughs> <laughs> Just cleanse the palate with Link. All right. It's, it's Link, Link, like Face of Evil is the ginger. You can make me do the duck walk. Cool, huh? Cool. <laughs> All right. Do you guys have any games in mind you want to put on? The uh, mm. on the cookie. I'll I'll, uh, I'll, let, I'll let G Wolf uh, start here, just so oh I God. can get some time to think about it. I'll, I'll, G, no, I'll let uh, I'll let Skitch well. choose just so I have to think about it. All the yes. <laughs> Good job, sitting right back. All right. Er uh, Ernie I, just I, said, G, you're doing very well. <laughs> you're doing very well, treading water. You haven't died yet. I'm amazed you haven't drowned yet. I only put 10 minutes worth of air in that tank. <laughs> you, I already can hold your breath for 15 minutes. Oh my god. I'm elbow three foot, a mighty pirate. All right, let me have a browse. Let's see here. Um, While I do that, we'll, we'll jump over to cookie mode here. Let's see here. You can always go for one of the army men games. <laughs> 
I'm looking at N64 titles just because. <coughs> Do you have pretty much anything set up still? I mean, is that pretty much the same? What's up? Uh, do you have everything set up still, or is that uh, the same? If it's not set up, I can set it up. Yeah, uh, you're uh, doing very yeah. well. I know you'll Assume the usual stuff is set up. Okay. I know you can do it. And I don't have a 3DO, so I cannot do Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. I'm sorry, guys. Oh. Unless I could find Archimp's channel, because I think... Actually, hang on. I'm going to uh -oh. check something. Uh-oh. Are you thinking what I think? I'm thinking G Wolf. I don't know what are you thinking. <laughs> Jimmy, you're supposed to tell me what I'm thinking. Oh, uh, yes, I'm totally thinking what you're thinking, and you should tell me what it is that you're thinking, just so I can confirm that I'm thinking what you're thinking. You know how to play this game way too well. <laughs> um, actually, I'm thinking that probably. I think maybe one of the Mystical Ninja games would actually be pretty good, though. Either Mystical Ninja starring Goemon or Goemon's Great Adventure. Might be good. Oh, what? Dude. We dude. could actually play. Dude. You could play Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Dude. Dude. I, I, I'm all for that. What is that? M is for my boy. Thank you for seven. Here's your egg. You will <laughs> give me an egg. <clears throat> oh, God. Should I put that on as an option? I, I think you should, but you know what's going to happen. That it's going to win? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Is that, the question is, is oh, it worth shit. it? Oh, shit. Actually, now I'm not sure if I can show it, because I don't know about the... It, that might have the nudity still in it. Um, well, there might... It's, hmm. Don't well, if, there, if you could, like... You know when the nudity happens, though, right? Um, more or less. I, I know when it happens, so you can just sort of, like, cut away from it during that segment. Yeah, I'm double-checking right now to see. Yeah, I mean, fortunately, for... Wait, for, for I, I guess if it's where I'm playing it... For, for connoisseurs like us, we know these things very clearly. Actually, no, I think they might have censored it. I think we might be okay. Ah, fantastic. Because if I'm not mistaken, you normally had to put in a cheat code to, you know... Oh, yeah, yeah you're correct. It's all totally censored. Sweet. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, gosh, should we should we put yes. this on as an option in the cookie? You, 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 why, you're asking, why are you asking the question, you know? Yeah. yeah. Right, you're right. Why not just make this a bad game night at this rate? <laughs> All right, let's go to the cookie. I'll tell you this, despite the, quote, nudity that's in this game, it's about as sexy as a, um, a plumber with a tie on, I guess, is the uh, operative term. <laughs> mm. This is about as sexy as most of the animations in that Legend of Zelda game you played earlier. You, you know what? I think those They're animations saying, are actually with the sexier. Cookie. People are thinking they might actually go for it right away. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> you need <laughs> the cookie. I think I think you need to do the cookie just so we can see the reaction. If only just so we can get a nice little chuckle at it, and then I can cry my sorrows away in this bottle of apple ale I'm drinking because it's the last thing in my fridge. No, uh, you know what? We'll we'll put it on. We'll do a cookie round for now. Oh, actually, no. Actually, a lot of people are saying. Uh, I, 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 I think the cookie, cookie, please. I say put it in there just so we can see the reaction. It's gonna be like another eight percent for it. We'll we'll put it on as an option. So we're gonna do a cookie round, okay? So we'll have an extra choice, and there'll be plumbers and wear ties. Right. Okay. So. Uh, all right, we're gonna do six, seven, eight. Oh my God, there's gonna be nine choices this round. This is gonna be rough. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. If you if you two both have options, or are you not gonna do that? I was thinking about one of the Goemon games for uh, N64, either Mystic Ninja, Mystical Ninja, or the uh, Goemon's Great Adventure would actually be pretty cool. Elliot. I was thinking something super uh, super Nintendo, but I haven't picked what yet. All right. Mm. Well, let's figure out what the five random games are gonna be first. Okay. All right. Five random games. Marvel Ultimate Alliance for the PSP. Okay. Elmo's still swimming on my TV, staring straight at me. <laughs> A little weird to see on the, out of the corner of my eye. Red Faction Gorilla for 360.
Final Fight 2 for the Super Nintendo. Okay. Nope, can't do that. <laughs> Lego Rock Band. Uh, can't do that. Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword for the DS. Oh, okay. Never actually, like, played that one proper. Played the first stage. That was about it. Hmm. I actually forgot I owned it. Which is bad, because I can see it when I turn around. And finally, Knights of the Round for the Super Nintendo. Ooh. That so those are the five randoms. Uh, Sketch, did you figure out which one you're going to go with? Uh, let's go with Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. Mystical Ninja starring Goemon for the N64. Mm hmm And, G Wolf, you got one? I completely changed console, actually. I went to Genesis, and I want, since it says it's unplayed, I want Mega Bomberman. Mega Bomberman for the Genesis. And Chewymon2525, thanks for subbing. Here's your egg. And the actually, go... D-Void. I miss T-Void as well. Thank you both for something. Here are your eggs. You will give me an egg. Make a you will give man. me an egg. Bummer man. Like, the, the single player in that is really fun, actually. Oh, I mean, I actually think of the which single player Bummer man campaign I like the most. <laughs> Knights of the Round is a good game. Shame it won't be streamed. <laughs> You're right. It won't be streamed. Not at this rate. Uh oh. So now we gotta. Oh, let's see here. We gotta. I gotta shake the straw pull here. Easy, 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 easy. Oh god. Wow. I'm surprised. Yep. Big up. Oh. Oh. Look at this. Yeah. Oh. oh man. This thing updates a lot faster now. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I like this. This is active. I like the spread though. It's pretty much falling the way I sort of expected. Plumbers don't know where it ties is at 38% of the vote. Mystery Game is gaining at 24%. That's 241 votes currently for 3DO and 180 for Mystery Game. Next closest Me is Mega Bomberman at 99 votes. That's 13%. And then it's, it's a toss-up between Mystic Nin Mystical Ninja and Knights of the Round. Uh, I'm going to just say right now, let's be real. For this round, it's between Plumbers Don't Wear Ties and Mystery Game. Yeah. I mean, look at... I'm actually impressed by the valiant effort Mystery Game is putting up here. Mystery, a lot of people kind of don't want to have a, a bad game three in a row, I'm thinking. I have <laughs> yeah, a feeling that's what's happening. There's bad games that there's just... There, there's that game. And then you go even lower and you get Sonic Boom. Oh! oh. How... I, I can't say how. I played the game in E3. I knew that game was going to be bad. I just wish they had done more with it. I mean, basically, from my understanding, it looked like they tried to sort of do a Jack and Daxter South formula game with they Sonic. Did. That's that's what it was. What I and, find and funny is one of the stages in the demo was like one of the final boss fights. Really? Yeah. So you know the boss fight with Robotnik where you got to throw missiles back at him in that giant mech suit. That's one of the final fights. Yeah. That's like near wow. the end of the game from watching Pro Jared stream it. And that was like one of the four demos. Wow. I think the other three were pretty close to the beginning of the game. When you do your research on it, you can see why the game failed as much as it did. Because pretty much half, if not more, of the team working on it actually left about a couple months ago, maybe a bit longer. I think the main person in charge of it left back last year. Wow. Yeah, I well, look at this. Of, there was turmoil I, it, over it, there. It, it, it looks like Plumbers Don't Wear Ties actually wins this round at this rate. All right, we're going to give it... Where's my timer? Uh, we're going to give it one minute based on now, I guess, once I get the timer going. And then that will dictate whatever it's at when time's up. Right now, Mystery Game is behind by 20 votes. If you want, don't want Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, you're going to have to make a push. Timer starting now. Oh, you know... Oh, it's so close to here. Be disappointed in the chat if they uh, if they switch it up though because I would actually kind of enjoy that. No, it didn't loop. What the hell? Oh, 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 oh! It's a tie. It is a tie. Oh, oh God! They're switching back and forth. We've got 33 seconds left on the timer. Man, why is 
100% off center. Oh my god, mystery game is... Mystery game is taking over right now by 2%. 20 seconds left on the clock. Right now it's a 30 vote lead. See, this is what happens to you when you... When the timer set up like that. 10 I, seconds. I, I'm disappointed in you, chat. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Time is up by 46 votes. Sorry, 36 votes. Mystery game wins it. Plumbers don't wear ties. I'm sorry, you had your chance, but it is not gonna be a three-peat of bad games. We're actually gonna have something re reasonable as a game coming up here now. Let me switch over to intermission. And chat is devastated. Uh, no, they're not. They they, <laughs> they 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 worked too hard for this. Yeah. No, yeah, they're, the delay might be behind, but man, they were paying attention to that page. 3% three, 3 gap between Mystery Game and Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. All right, so I'm going to go figure out what the game is, and we're going to go to break. So when we come back, we'll be playing hopefully a good game. We'll all figure out. I might just start laughing when I see another game instead. I don't know. I'll try to keep, I'll try to keep it to a good game, though. Right. See you guys in a bit. Sorry, Elmo, you're going to drown in the ocean there. So Final Fantasy XIV, huh? Yeah. Is it good? <laughs> I I really like it, but then again, I I should I should really like it for having spent so much time in it. That that's called a sunk cost fallacy, man. Can't say I haven't got my my money's worth out of it though. For the amount of months I've been subscribed to it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I I've been wanting to really get into. Dungeons and Dragons online, it's just hard to get like a lot of activity on that. It's such an old game too, but it's more fun than Neverwinter Online is. Yeah, Neverwinter was alright, but... Not enough options! In a D&D &D game, what, how can you screw that part up? All I want <laughs> is more classes and more options! Also, I just want a turn-based... Uh, turn-based D&D game based on 4th edition! It's so easy. The game's designed <laughs> around it. And people like turn-based games all over again. Easy, 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 easy. See, I look at McJohnson, idiot, and I and I say, I don't care if other people have done it. First and foremost, Resident Prey didn't do the whole game, so. What game? Um, plumbers don't wear ties. When Ritsu Prey did Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, actually stopped halfway through the game. <laughs> or a third of the way in. One of the two. They couldn't even finish it. <clears throat> oh my god. God, L did, little did everyone know, John was Elmo all the long. I, we figured it out. Figured. Oh God, can I? Oh, I don't know if that would work. Shit. And I would probably need a webcam if I did that one. Damn it. So. Oh. It's partly a suggestion from Brad from, like, months ago about playing uh, tilt-based Game Boy games in the uh, GameCube player and just picking up the GameCube and tilting it back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> All right, that would be funny to pick, but I don't think we would find it good. Uh... Okay, maybe finding a good game was trickier than I thought. Bad games on this last trip. <laughs> I 
apparently we're being uh, asked to, to tell you to check your check donations your again. Donations again. Oh no. God, I'm already <laughs> worried. <laughs> it's it's like what's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> All right, no, Loads can... of money. Oh crud! Would this be? Oh no! Oh no! I guys, I need your opinion on this one. Uh, you two specifically. Okay. okay. Um, which of these do you think would be good to play? And keep in mind that I do not have the accessory needed for the first one. Hmm. But I believe you can play it with controller. Okay. Hmm. I know, tricky, isn't it? Hmm. Ooh. See, I, I as much as I'm a fan of the 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 first one in general principle, um I think we're at some point we're gonna have to stream that one though, specifically because I, I, of who the villain is in the game. Is there I, I, is there like a high chance that you're gonna be able to get said accessory for it? Honestly, uh, playing, with, playing it with the accessory wouldn't change much for the stream standpoint, though. No, it would actually would probably make it worse because it would just be me, like dying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. So, I, I, honestly, honestly, I think I think for the, the shock value, also, it would be a good choice to go with the first one. That's just me. I'm gonna double check to make sure. Yeah, no, it shows. Yeah, I think this would actually work. But I did say I was going to pick a good game this time, which is the problem. <laughs> I'm too tempted! God, maybe this will be the the bad choice next time. And I air quote bad, because I have a feeling a lot of people are going to like that. Oh yeah, maybe we'll go with the initial, <laughs> the initial suggestion I had there. Alright, the second one. Yeah. Or, yeah. Because I've actually never played this before, so I don't even know if this is actually a good game. The, Let's hope. The, I'll, I'll tell you this, John. Um, I'm looking at the chat, though. And uh, and what's up? I, I think they're catching on to what you you're thinking about doing. Wow! Yeah, actually, people piece it together. Look at that. I it's, guess it's, I, was, I was a little too. I was way past subtle on that one. Yeah, I, I know. I think I think <laughs> they are. I think. Why? <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. We're doing <laughs> it. Dance, yes! dance, revolution, Mario mix. Yeah. So. Do it live. Shake it to over 25 dance flavored flavored songs from remixes of classic Nintendo themes to familiar favorites. With five difficulty levels, dancers of all abilities can get into the groove. The path to Mario's dance party is simple. Left, right, up, down, right, down. Um, um, um. Yeah, you know, this does taste like dance. No, uh, you know, I always, I'm always a fan of the Mario seasoning mix when I'm either doing my grilling, my broiling, or my dancing. It brings yeah. the most out of any party experience. You know, I actually, I got to meet Charles Martinet recently. Charles Martinet recently. He was at a, he was at um in Tampa at uh, Shadowcon. I just got to hang out with him for dinner, which is pretty nice. crazy. Ooh. Yes. It, it was a lot of fun. I, I got him pretzels and chicken wings at a pizza joint that we were at down here. I hear he's like super nice to talk to. Oh, he's so nice to talk to. Yes. The you realize Mario that with Twitch's new rule banning shirtless streams, uh, Plumbers and Mortars could have gotten you at least. Oh wait, at least a temporary ban. Uh, actually, I believe that same rule they have posted says as long as it's in the in a game and not the main focus of said game game. Hence, it's not like a a dating sim, I guess. Then it's actually okay. So I actually still could have streamed it. That wasn't my concern. My concern was that... Here's the thing. So I don't have a 3DO. So obviously I can't stream a 3DO version of Plumber's Don't Wear Ties. But someone actually has the entire game playable on YouTube. Oh, you're right. Because it's just that easy. Yeah. So I was just going to play the, a bunch of YouTube videos, basically. All right. Let's make sure the GameCube is actually hooked up. <clears throat> that might be important. That's a clever way of doing it, considering 3DOs well, are like, you know. Way too expensive still. Yeah. yeah Not as expensive it, as they were. No, no, and, and honestly, for that game, 
it, I mean, the interface, it's basically like a really bad choose your own adventure book with. Someone else streamed Plumbers and More Ties not too long ago after the rule change, and he wasn't banned or suspended. He's also a partner. So, yeah, I would have been fine. Yeah. It's the same reason, like, remember when we streamed Splatterhouse and there were the, the nude pictures collectible thing? I actually apparently would not have gotten in trouble for that, believe it or not. I find that a little surprising, but, I'll, I mean, I'll take it. Usually, as long as it's in the context of the game and not, like, what the game is based around, you're okay. Mm-hmm. YouTube is actually against TOS, so say you're playing on the 3D Oh, whoops. Okay, let's see how this game is. I have never played this before. I actually just opened it out of the wrapping. Oh. Because I actually found a sealed copy of it while I was in Portland. Dang. Uh, why is the game not coming up, though? It's because no one wants to acknowledge its existence. No, because there was a, apparently there's a colon in the name on it. Oh, okay, yeah, it's one of those dealios. I also don't know how to play DDR on a GameCube controller. Um, that's a good question. I'm going to assume a few ways it might be handling it. Like, um, it may be that A is down, B is left, um, Ew. X is... Yeah, it might be that sort of setup. Ew. That's yeah, going terrible. Uh, <laughs> I've played DDR on PlayStation 2 controls with my two thumbs when I was, you know, I didn't have the dance pad out. Um, I also played Step Mania on the computer where I used two fingers on the numpad to play the game out there. So I'm interested to see. This might make it just as funny. All right. So <coughs> I've also been reminded we got to do the Pokemon code giveaway. Okay. Remind me when we go to next break, we're going to do the Pokemon code giveaway. And then I have to check donations. Apparently, mm -hmm. Y is up, A is down, B is left, and X is right. So yeah, you might be right. <laughs> yes. Oh boy. Let's see. Let's do the Mario. You could try using the D pad as well. That might. That the tiny ass D-pad? Yeah, that's yeah. not going to work. And you can also, you can't do two directions at the same time, so you wouldn't be able to use the D-pad. John's not going to do face cam because he's not using the pad. That's the accessory we're talking about that he doesn't have. Yeah, because those are surprisingly hard to find because I think there's only the there's two DDR games on the GameCube, and one's not even DDR. It's in the groove. Do the Mario. <laughs> <laughs> at last I found them. Mm. The music keys, the bearers of the power of music. Oh my god. Shall gosh. release the music from the keys and flood the world with chaos. Oh my god, Waluigi's the perfect villain for this. I it's And then I will hypnotize the rhythmless rhythmless masses with my moves. Wow. So oh. this is like so basically this is an allegory on modern uh pop music, isn't it? 